Hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to create a Swagger doc using OpenAPI specification for my API. And as you can see in the documentation of the OpenAPI, when you are defining responses, you can define the schema like this. So my intention was that I already had uh, TypeScript interfaces in my project. So I wanted to use those interfaces and generate this schema and use them for my Swagger doc. So in this video, I'm just going through this process quickly. So I found this TypeConf uh, package. Uh, you can install it either using NPM or Yarn. And then this is the format of the command that you can run. Uh, it's TypeConf. Uh, it has F which is from, it has T which is to. So for me, the from is TypeScript format and the to is open API. And I'm just giving this option that I want my output to be in the format of YAML. So I'm giving this test TS. Yes. Uh, this is the TypeScript interfaces and I put it here to show you what I have. As you can see, I have uh, response three properties and then data is the value interface value also is defined here. So the output is uh, something like this. As you can see, it's a complete open API. So by that, I mean, if you just copy this and paste it in the Swagger editor, you, you can just Google Swagger editor and you will find that uh, you will find the documentation but uh, it doesn't have of course the path and everything because you didn't define but i already had my swagger ready i just wanted to use this schema so what i did i just copied from these components all the way down whatever it generated for me and i used it in my swagger doc so this is my swagger doc uh, i'm using open api version 3 and you can put your title version and server is your base uh, URL and then this is the path I defined so as you can see in the path you define the method and then your responses has a status code uh, and the schema you want to define so my schema as you can see it is pointing to components schema response and that's that direction is here um, directory is components schemas and response so this is the output I'm getting. As you can see, it has method, endpoint, and then you can see the example value for my output. And if I go to the schema, I just shows this schema. But um, that's the way I use. And as I said, if you Google Swagger Editor, you can just test your Swagger and your schema. If you want to make it cleaner, I did another thing as well. Uh, so you can just use this um, a schema and move it to a separate file. For example, I did move it to response YAML and the format of the schema would be type properties. Very similar to that one. The only thing I did was I copied the um, schema of the value down here under items. Uh, so that's the whole object I have for my response in a separate file. And then in your swagger, you can Point, it, point to that like this because they are in the same folder. I'm just pointing to that um, root and then uh, the name of the file. Uh, and as you can see, it's it's cleaner. It's up to you uh, which one, which way you want to use. But the output is is very is similar. Is the same. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching.